This is gonna be an awesome project. We're gonna to get to use some materials that I personally love working with. For this, what I have is some simple paper, a pencil to sketch out, an eraser, in case I mess up, and I found a subject. Now for this one, I'm gonna use some classic Michelangelo Sistine Chapel. I actually have an image I found online and I'm gonna work with it from the tablet. The next thing I have that we're gonna color this in with are these Aquarelle color pencils, but they're also like paint. I can't wait to show you how to use these. Let's get started. Once you find the subject, and try to find something that's really colorful, let's begin sketching out our idea. Remember, start with the basic shapes, and then let's go back and add the real, real fine details. Let's get started adding the color. I would really start to imagine that you are actually painting with these pencils. Let's start with the lighter colors, maybe blend some colors, especially for myself and the skin tones, and let's layer them. The last thing we should do is add the black. Remember, this color is gonna be used for the shadows and for the details. Now that we've added most of our color, let's get started with the brush and water. I would highly suggest using a very small brush and let's make sure we use very little water. We wanna be able to control where the paint's gonna go once we activate it.
the best things about these pencils, if you feel like when you're done it's too light or maybe you need some more color, don't worry about it. Let the paint dry. You can go right back at it with the pencils and then reactivate the paint if needed. I'm going to stop for now, but I hope that gave you a great example of what you could do with these pencils. One of my favorite art materials simply because I can control where the color is going to go before I add the water. Pretty amazing, right? Until next time, remember, be creative, be innovative, and be outrageous. We would love to see what you create. Share your projects with us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook by using hashtag OutrageousNate.